I'm worried simply because if you look at the definition of what constitutes a failed state, we tick most of the boxes right now. The number one qualification of a failed state is its inability to provide security for its citizens. That's the number one qualification. We have that. The number two qualification for being a failed state is a capacity gap in a government's ability, in a state's ability to provide social services. Our people have to wait days in hospitals. We can't even get vaccines because we cut the vaccine budget, according to the good health minister. So we tick the second box too for a failed state, my fellow leaders. The next one is the legitimacy of the state. Our people are already questioning all of our state institutions because they have lost trust. They are struggling to accept the legitimacy of elections. And I know we are dealing with it, and I know we are going to talk about it, but we tick that box too, my dear leaders. We tick already three of the most important boxes for a failed state. We tick it. What's the fourth one? Poor governance and corruption. Do we tick that box or not? <clears throat> <clears throat> Prolonged economic crisis is the fifth box of a failed state. Do we tick that box? Extreme inequality is another box. I could go on, but let me stop him, Lohat.